I believe so much in breaking things down for beginners to understand. One thing I have learned from my many years of trading is that making it so complex does not necessarily make you profitable. In this video, I am going to show a powerful but simple strategy on how you can be taking constant profits from the market. This strategy will be useful for trading the spot market, for the futures market, and if you are using the Royal Q software like me, this will be an awesome strategy for you and for your business associates, those you are mentoring. In the course of this video, I will often mention a strategy for the Royal Q users and for the futures market. Talking about Royal Q, Royal Q is a trading bot you connect to your Binance or Hobby account. It only trades and make you profits. It cannot withdraw. To learn more about Royal Q, click on my channel name and go to my videos. Watch the first video I made on Royal Q where I introduced Royal Q and you will get a good knowledge of what it's all about. For our strategy, we are going to use the tradingview.com. Let me go to charts. One powerful tool we are going to use to know when to enter trades is the Stochastic RSI. Stochastic RSI belongs to Oscillators group and what oscillators do is to measure the momentum in the market. Let's go to indicators and get this indicator. Stochastic RSI. Another easy way of pulling out this stochastic indicator is to go to indicator templates and select oscillators. It's going to give you all the oscillators RSI. I don't want this. I do not want RSI. I will go ahead and also remove the volatility indicator. Good, now we have stochastic RSI. If you look at the stochastic RSI, you would see that it is numbered from 0, 20, up to 100, right? And it comes with the default line on the top around 80 and the bottom around 20. What I love to do is to extend the top or the upper band to 100 and the lower band to 0. Let's do that. Settings. Upper band 100. The lower band 0. I also love to make the upper band color red. And the lower band color green. If you look at this indicator, you will see a kind of pattern here on the market momentum. And you would notice that whenever it touches the downside, like the zero point, the market goes up. And when it touches the top, the market tends to reverse downwards. This strategy is popular among some traders and it is a very simple and beautiful strategy. But if you are a newbie, it's not enough to jump into trade when you see this pattern form. You have to use this strategy together with a second knowledge about the market which you should have, and that is knowing the trend of the markets, determining the trend, whether we have uptrend when the market is making higher highs, higher highs, or downtrend. The best way to determine the trend of the market is from the higher time frame. Now, there are many things you have to consider to determine the trend, but I want to give this sample. I don't want to distract you by all the lines and charts, you know. 
A very simple strategy is to go to the monthly charts. If you could recall, I made this video a month ago on how to predict the direction of the market and I still kept it simple and pegged it on the monthly charts. You could go and watch this video. Let's go back and continue with Dash USDT monthly charts. This is Dash USDT. If you go to the monthly chart, look at the candlestick. The last month closed bullish. This is a clear sign that we are in an uptrend. This month of September is gonna be bullish. There could be some pullback, but you would see it's gonna go up. Just like what happened here. You saw this reversal, this, this pullback here. If you go to week daily charts, you will see that this could last for days and people are and people will be scared, but it still goes up. You will know that we're gonna notice bearish months when the previous month's candle closes bearish and the candle is a reversal candle indeed, like this one. I mean, this is just simple formula that works, right? Because you don't want to buy when this pullback is happening. That's why you want to still go down to lower time frames, like the day candle to determine the trend. Again, on the daily chart, we will see that yesterday candle closed bullish. You don't want to short or sell if you are trading futures. This clearly shows you that today or tomorrow, you are expecting the market to be bullish. There are other advanced ways of dictating this and some rule of thumbs like some traders would say when the market is above the 200 MA, you will know that the market is bullish. Let's make this 200 just to show you a bit. As you can see, the market is above, above it. But this is just a rule of the thumb. You need to look at the structure of the market. Like in this situation, you could see how the candles from last two days closed went below and still closed above right for short term trading i could just add the 20 ma or replace this with the 20 ma let me make it yellow you see the 20 ma how this candle the day candle closed above now you now know the direction of the market also, you could see how this day candle for the past days, the candles have been respecting the 20 MA, all right? Telling you that the market is up. Now that we know the direction of the market, let's get to this RSI. If you are a newbie and you know that the market is up, always look for buy opportunities, long opportunities. Do not short the market. Because when there is a strong bullish momentum, when the market rallies up here and touches the 100 level, it is most likely not to obey this stochastic, okay? And that's what you, that's what you have seen here. Look at this. The market kept on rallying up. But notice that when the market comes down to this zero point. If you entered here, you would see that you will be on profit. Another opportunity has called again, and that is on the 31st of August, even on the 1st. And if you look at the candlestick, even today, there is a buy opportunity. Now, you use the higher time frame to know the direction of the market and you use the lower time frame for entry. At this point, for Royal Q users, you could go ahead and turn on your board to cycle from the daily charts because you know in Royal Q, dollar cost averaging is built into it and if the market dips, your board buys more, you make more profit. So you don't have anything to worry about or fear about. But if you are trading futures, leverage trading, 
never you enter a trade blindly because any loss you will record is real loss. So what you're gonna do after deciding, after knowing that the market is up and you have seen that the stochastic RSI has touched the zero point or very close to the zero point, go to the one hour candle, one hour chart and look for entry opportunity. Let me go to that daily chart. Let's say on, on the 31st, let me draw a horizontal line there. Let's look at what happened on the 31st. I'll put a horizontal line. Let's go to one hour. You would see where the, look at where the entry opportunity caught. So if you are trading futures on the 31st, this is where you would have entered this thread and make good profit because you saw the entry signal on the daily chart and you went down to one hour chart. Look at it. Let me remove this candle. Look at that candle. This is a reversal candlestick pattern. If you entered here about 6%, if you are using 10S leverage, that is 60%. If you are using 50S leverage, that is that is 300%. And if you are trading the spot market or with the Royal IQ, it will make series of threads here. Okay, and it could generate even more than 6% because it closes and opens thread. Now, look at another opportunity. Let's say you, you didn't enter at this point. This is very important for future traders. Don't enter, don't enter threads anyhow. Allow the market to show you a reversal pattern, even though you know the direction. If you missed this point, this is another point. Look at how the stochastic touched the zero or got so close to the zero. And you saw the reversal candle here this doji so if you enter here this is a good entry right now look at another entry opportunity you see that this is a beautiful opportunity all right let's look at another opportunity there are some threads in my watch list let me check bmb let's go to the day candle now look at this this is a perfect market for long for longing and look at that the stochastic rsi is at the lower bound at the oversold point showing you there will be potential rally up somebody using the royal queue could cycle the bnb okay and make a lot of profits Let's go to the one hour chart. For a futures trader, what you should be looking out for, you want to be careful here. You want to see a good reversal candle before you enter. It depends on how much room you want to give your trade to bridge. For instance, if you, are, if you want to give your trade enough room to bridge, you will see that you could even enter this thread, but you have to make sure, look at the, the potential loss you could endure is about 9%, okay? So multiply it by your leverage. If you are using 20S leverage, that will be 180% of your capital. So you want to get better deal. But generally, this BNB market is looking very healthy. For somebody trading the sports market or using the rare queue, this is so this is a sweet market to enter, right? But future traders you will have to keep on looking for good entry points. So what I could do here is to draw a trend line and see. It's possible that this market could hits the trend line so i will be looking to enter this thread when the market hits the trend line which is still around these support zones okay 
let's check four hours if you look at the four hour chart you will still see that my trend line makes sense so the market could hit this trend line and go up so you want to place a limit buy order or observe the market to see when the candle will hit this trend line when it hits the trend line it will make a reversal pattern something like a doji bullish engulfing candle or other reversal candle patterns so that's just that's just that very simple pull out your stochastic rsi and go to the daily time frame to know the direction of the market if it is uptrend look to enter the markets when the stochastic rsi gets very close to the zero zone and finally use the lower time frame like one hour four hours to enter threats if there is real loss of money especially like in futures i hope this guide was helpful in my next video i am going to introduce futures trading see you in the next one bye for now